Hello reformers and welcome back to a world of ice and fire. Now as you can see right here we're actually in a battle against one of the Veil vassals mainly because I kind of want to eliminate them as quickly as possible because they are being very annoying. Yes, I mean, well, that is to be expected isn't it? I mean they're supposed to do that, you know, they're supposed to raid villages kill anyone in the vicinity and basically just make nuisances, nuisances of themselves and uh, well hopefully I will be able to uh, take this guy out and then take out his friend that is relatively close by. I actually wanted to get both of them in the fight at the same time but unfortunately that just did not happen because well one of them went in one direction and the other one went in another direction so it was kind of a bit difficult to get them both in the same area. Anyway. I have actually been doing a little bit of off-screen progression here, mainly because the morale problem that we've been having for quite some time is very frustrating to deal with, especially when you are attempting to make an episode of some series, for example this one. And the morale was constantly going down, constantly getting to like very low, terrible, very low, terrible, and so on and so forth. And so I had to continually wait at the bloody gate or any of our fiefs without any people in my army just to get my morale back up to a reasonable level. And let me just tell you, that's not, that's not very fun. You know, that's not very fun at all. So basically that was the reason why I decided to do a little bit of off screen. So I have taken uh, basically everything that the Veil has to offer and that's the reason why we're doing a couple of field battles in this episode and hopefully towards the end of the episode or at the very least maybe maybe in the middle we are going to see the invasion of the White Walkers. We're very close to that I think. Not entirely sure how many days I've been playing so far. I know that it's about 650 or so so if we're able to I'm gonna basically spend a bunch of time off screen trying to recruit a bunch of people so basically I'm just gonna recruit Night's Watch Rangers I'm going to recruit uh, what, what else can I get uh, thin champions things like that so I'm basically gonna do that I know that someone in the comments section actually gave me a really awesome tip as far as I'm aware there is a Night's Watch recruiter in King's Landing or I think in any uh, any of the towns you own I think I think that's the case and basically what you can do is you can sell your prisoners to that guy and then he'll give you he'll sometimes if you have space he'll sometimes give you Night's Watch recruits in exchange uh, I don't know whether that's really the case for me or whether it's it's just luck based but hopefully we're gonna be able to take advantage of that as well but uh, we'll see we'll see I, I don't know whether I'll be able to even get down to King's Landing before the invasion actually happens so that's also something that's a bit of a problem because leveling those Night's Watch Rangers it's kind of difficult you know it's kind of difficult we have a decent amount of trainer skill so don't get me wrong on that I think we're actually gonna be actually pretty good you know we're actually pretty good and and pretty decently efficient about uh, leveling our forces up but it is still a bit of a slog so we are going to need to wait quite some time to just get our trainer skill working because obviously after the veil have been eliminated ho hopefully this particular vassal right here is going to be a stepping stone in the right direction in that regard and uh, yes anyway hopefully we will then be able to get about get a, you know just get a whole bunch of uh, night's watch elite rangers you know things like that hopefully i'm not going to get skewered in the face by all kinds of pole arms that would not be very nice and we're just going to tell everyone to charge in right now we're just going to tell our cavalry tell our infantry to charge in hopefully our archers will be able to assist us a little bit i I'd, they don't actually seem to be doing that much i'm a bit uh, a bit disillusioned with our archers at the moment i'm hopeful that they will start to be a little bit better as time goes on because obviously we're going to need to use archers against white walkers mostly because they are the ones that are going to be doing the most damage and our infantry is not going to be able to do anything so that's obviously a pretty big pretty big problem considering but that's the main reason why I actually haven't been doing anything in regards to recruiting more unsullied and things like that because obviously unsullied they don't have the weaponry capable of dealing damage to White Walkers, so it's basically pointless for me to spend all that money 
recruiting unsullied if they can't really do anything you know, to help me. So I, I've basically just let their numbers dwindle as much or as, 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 you know, as necessary, basically, because it hasn't really proven to be uh, too, too useful to do anything about that uh, recently. So I, anyway, I'm going to try and survive this. It's a bit problematic. Let's just say that. I am actually surviving. I'm actually kind of surprised. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys don't have enough... Uh, they don't have enough armor penetration. Oh, look at that. We took him out. Did you see that? We took out his, uh, the vassal, the enemy vassal. Okay, I'm actually going to try and get on this horse before I get myself shot. It's going to happen. I'm going to get shot. Don't worry. Ah, run. Okay, maybe not. I think we're actually decently far away now. And uh, that actually reminds me... I would like, if at all possible, to try and play as the uh, one of the giants in one of these fights. Because someone actually wanted me to do that, and also I find it really fun. So why not? You know, let's uh, let's try and see if I can do that. I'm, I can't believe I'm limping... Oh, there we go. Limping into battle and not getting myself killed. But there you go. There's a victory for us. Not too bad. Not too bad, i got to say. And uh, hopefully... Hopefully, that's going to be the beginning of the end for the Veil. I'm actually going to be retreating here. And am I sure? Should I? Should I actually retreat here? Nah, you know what? I'm actually going to wait because I'd like to see how our archers do because we only have archers remaining and a couple of couple of infantry. I think this is actually the the rest of the enemy forces. I think we've already eliminated the whole bunch, so it's actually not even a not even a big deal. They seem to be running away now, though. Which is kind of unfortunate. But here come the cavalry. Uh, literally, actually. Here come the cavalry. And uh, hopefully they will... Ah. They were very close to the to the retreat line, weren't they? Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Never mind. All right. So, uh, yeah. It's been a long time. <laughs> Let me just say that. It's been a long, long time. And I've been... Well, it kind of bored out of my mind a bit, and uh, that's kind of a bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of a bit sad because who wants that? No, no one wants that. Anyway, the point is, is that I've been doing some severe leveling up. Now, uh, annoyingly, the Night's Watch Rangers are very, very difficult to level up. Let me just tell you that. They are really, really difficult to level up, but they're worth it, you know. They're worth it eventually. They're really, really well statted. And they do, of course, have those fire arrows that will be able to do damage to the White Walkers. Now, I have no idea whether the other rangers have fire arrows. So I'm hopeful that they do, but I don't actually know for sure. So that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, I am at day 698 right now. And so that means that the White Walkers will be coming in relatively soon. Well, in two days, I suppose. And I have leveled up 469 Then Champions. Because these guys are much easier to level up than the Night's Watch. Now, the problem with this... Is that... Uh, actually, I'm not going to take those guys just yet. Just going to leave leave them with the Night's Watch at the moment. Just going just gonna to take the Night's Watch units first. Because what I would like to do is actually activate the event and then see what's going to happen. I'm actually just going to get a little bit more morale here. Oh yeah, by the way, we did lose Sisterton and Long Sister and all that. And Lady Val, as you can see, is down there actually doing some work. Oh yes, she is doing some work. I haven't been participating in basically anything uh, game related apart from literally just leveling up my units for this entire in-game month. And you can imagine how Oh, how soul-destroying that is. Anyway, we're going to be just waiting here for some time. I'm going to wait for the next two days, and then we will see exactly what happens with the White Walkers invading. I have no idea where they attack. I don't know whether they attack straight away, uh, you know, attacking this or what, or whatever the case may be. But, uh, yeah, it seems like it is going to be difficult, very difficult indeed. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm very, I'm very excited about it. Oh, look at this. Yes, all of the Vale are being captured. As you can see. And uh, House Targaryen's doing a fantastic job. As you would expect them to do. And uh, yeah, as you can see, my training kind of... 
I mean, it goes well, don't get me wrong, it goes well, but I'm only able to get one veteran ranger for every, what, every 12 hours or so, and it's not, it, it I mean, even, even then, it may be even every day, so it takes a huge amount of time to level up any single one of these Night's Watch elite rangers. So if you are going to play A World of Ice and Fire, if you are playing it alongside me and you are a little bit a little bit behind in the amount of days that has gone by, I would highly recommend doing a thing known as getting a castle and just recruiting a bunch of Night's Watch units and then just leveling them up over the over the course of your of your playtime because now that I only have or I only had about 40 days left it kind of didn't give me enough time let's just say that it did not give me enough time so that is obviously a bit of an issue but I'm kind of interested and a bit intrigued as to what is happening right now as you can see we're, we're once again gaining 48,000 and uh, I have about 700,000 in the treasury. I did take about 200,000 just for expenses in terms of leveling people up and everything. And uh, yeah, so that's going that's going reasonably well. Unfortunately, the main problem I've had is food. I have had to literally wander down to various places to buy food sporadically and it has not been easy. But anyway, Hopefully the White Walkers will be... I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're not invading just yet. Uh, it, it is it is the 700th day. You don't have to... You don't have to doubt me on that, that's for sure. Oh, uh, there we go. Kohor has finally been eliminated. I am really pleased about that. Alright, so... Uh, not entirely sure what's going on with the White Walkers. They they don't seem to be... They don't seem to be invading. It, it is definitely past 700 days uh, should I actually I'm gonna just check my uh, my settings real quick because maybe it's a bit different than I thought Wow okay did you just have a look at that did you see that right there every single vassal that the veil has has been eliminated by house Fremont I can't believe it so it seems like Lord Bronn and Lady Val and whoever else is over there has done a fantastic job and have eliminated the veil very very surprising indeed very impressive and uh, I'm I'm actually now just extremely confused as to why the white walkers are not invading that they, they are wildling raiders over there so this is this is kind of strange anyway let's just continue to get what, what seven are you serious i have literally been get, getting about 20 to 50 then every single time i go to that village but apparently me getting seven now is is kind of hilarious okay well whatever the case i don't exactly know what's going on because i've checked my my settings and it does have white walkers invasion enabled so there is no problem there. Oh well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I, I guess this will be a slightly shorter episode then because I actually anticipated fighting the White Walkers and I don't have anything else to do as is quite obvious considering now that the Veil has been eliminated. As you can see, just going to give you a, a small brief look over the various territories that we have here. So Sisterton has obviously been taken by the... Uh, by House Targaryen, and we also have obviously the same kind of you know thing going on here. King's Landing is ours. They took Runestone as well, and we obviously have the Irie, and we have all these other things here as well. And that's basically that's basically it. I mean, the Westerlands technically should be eliminated now as well. As you can see, they are all gone. All of their fiefs have been eliminated. The Reach is really really strong right now. The Dornish are strong. House Targaryen is. Not exactly the strongest it could be, but obviously they have some extremely powerful vassals, so nothing really to worry about there. And what what's happening in Essos? Well, someone is running through my villages at the moment, and they're wanting to raid all of them, which is kind of annoying. But uh, I can't really do much about that, because it is just literally so far away. And, uh, well, as I said, I wanted to kind of get prepared for the inevitable White Walker invasion, which is apparently not so inevitable. Now, let me tell you, I thought it was going to happen on day... Ah, here we go. 
One of your commanders has news delivered by a raven. He goes on to read, Creatures known as White Walkers have been spotted with hordes of the undead. They are heading towards the wall. Any man that can wield a sword, spear, or stick is urged to gather in the north and await further instructions. Winter has come. Alright, I'm really, really, uh, while traveling in the north, the cold is more prominent. Well, yes, yes, I understand that. Thanks very much. Anyway, what I'm going to do... Oh! What? <laughs> what? Okay. The people of the defeated Volantis have taken up their weapons and Triarch Malakwo Magier has taken a thief from House Fremont. The Volantis has been restored. Ah, uh, What? Okay, sure. Have, okay. Where, though? Where, where have... The, are you serious right now? They literally... They li what? Are you ser... They've taken this one as well? And Lorath? I have never seen this ever before, so this is... <laughs> wow, that's kind of impressive. Okay, so they've actually taken a couple of things in the Vale's territory as well. I'm actually kind of... Uh, I'm actually wondering, can any of you tell me what the, what the formula for that is? What's the calculation? Because... How does it determine what they are going to take? Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, let me know, because if it's just pure RNG, then I'm going to call BS on that, and I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. But, well, there you go. Because, like, a, an event like that just coming up and being like, okay, so we're just going to take, you know, I don't know, seven thieves from you or something like that. I feel like that's a little bit too much in my opinion, so that's definitely something that may need to be changed in the future, if at all possible, but if not, then it's not really a big deal, I suppose, but, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm just whining, because I really did quite a bit of work to get all of those fiefs, and they all had a huge amount of units inside each of them, so it is kind of a bit, kind of a bit sad. Anyway, uh, I guess now, we will head down. Let's actually just make sure I'm not running into any White Walkers here. We have a bunch of Night's Watch. I'm, I'm really surprised that they were able to, you know, like, come out of the Night's Watch Oath itself and actually do something there. Okay, so we've got Wildling Raiders. That's actually not something that we want to be too careful about. There's a, there's a tournament being held. Good, good. It's very nice to know that there's a tournament being held, but nothing that I am too interested in at the, mo at the moment. Okay, so let's see where the White Walkers actually are. Broken Men. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Okay. Ah, they're running. Oh my. Okay, that's actually a lot. There are a lot of units. I actually thought that I might have enough, but I don't. As you can see, they have 1,940. Okay, let's do this. Right, so obviously that... <laughs> yes, exactly, Elias. Exactly, okay. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, we're only minus four in terms of battle advantage, and it is completely snowing like no one's business. I am not going to be, uh, well, I actually don't exactly know how to fight these guys. Are they going to move extremely slowly, like actual zombies, or are they just going to do the whole 28 days later thing where they're running super fast? I don't know. But we're, yeah, it seems like they might just be moving normally. All right, so let's get my thin champions. I don't have an extremely large battle size because uh, my PC is not going to be able to handle it. So we have about 300, which is double the default size. So that's basically what I can do without it stuttering like mad. So hopefully that's going to be enough to actually show the epicness of this battle. Don't exactly know whether it will be, but hopefully it will. There's what? Okay, that was easy. Kind of surprised. We do have two giants here, bear that in mind. So these giants are obviously going to be extremely useful. And we do have Thoros here with his fire sword. So that's obviously going to be very useful too. Okay, that guy's much harder. Oh, what? That was oh, that was insane. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was that was kind of harsh. Hello there. Okay, so please. Okay, so I'm actually going to try and 
they are actually fearable? That's hilarious. Okay. I actually killed them with fear. That's that's kind of amusing. Alright, so they do massive damage. As you can see. Massive damage. As is to be expected. Okay, I stumbled again. Wow. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. We, we will not be able to do this. No way. There's 159 enemies. Nope. Okay. I'm going to be retreating from that. Going to be retreating from that. I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do it. I am going to pull back and leave... 69? Oh, I do not want to... Okay, you know what? I do not want to leave 69 units behind. That's for sure. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. Basically, what I needed to do was I needed to start leveling at Night's Watch Rangers much, much earlier, and that's that's basically it. Personally, I feel like there should be alternate ways that we can defeat the White Walkers, and I'm not talking about, you know, making making them easier or making them, you know, more susceptible to different kinds of weapons, but I'm talking about the accessibility of various other options, because the only option being... Night's Watch Rangers? That, that's a bit... I don't know whether that's really really that good, but... Well, as you can see, uh, it seems like the Night's Watch are actually doing quite a bit of damage here. So, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm actually wondering whether my actual... my, uh, my other weapon would actually make a difference. Uh, maybe I should try it? I'm gonna try my other weapon here real quick, just to see. No, it does zero. Okay, well that's <laughs> that's good to know. I just wanted to test it. Just wanted to test it. Alright, so let's see. Wow, 73 damage does not kill one of them, so obviously that's a bit of a problem. Uh, can I... can I retreat right now? I'd like to retreat now, maybe. Do you think I can actually do that and actually get away? No. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna just leave the 67 troops. I really did not want to do that, but... To get away from this, it's kind of necessary in my opinion. Uh, now these Thin Champions, they're not very good, so I probably would not recommend leveling up Thin Champions. I mean, they have... what do they have again? Can I actually... Oh, I can't even see what they're actually using. But uh, it seems like they weren't able to kill basically anything, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether they actually do damage to the White Walkers or not. But I suppose what I will be doing is, as these White Walkers are rampaging through the land, I will be attempting to level up more Night's Watch Rangers, but at least we have seen the enemy and we know what they're capable of. I thank you very much for watching and for joining me, and I will see you next time.